and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. In today's episode, I want to do a short video about size and scale because, I'm sorry, as everybody knows, uh, size does matter. Everybody is a little confused by size and scale because we tend to be very focused on things that we can see with the naked eye. I think this is a natural thing. This is what we grow up seeing. Humans especially tend to gravitate towards big things. We like to watch elephants and whales and we don't so much like to watch microbes and little worms and tiny insects and things like that. I think this is just a natural thing for most people. Um, I don't know if it's true, but down under, they seem to be really obsessed with big things. I guess everything is bigger down under. They've built the big mango and the big pineapple. The big banana just celebrated 40 years. I guess, well, that's big news. There's a big potato. I mean, seriously? This one I understand, of course, the big penguin in Tasmania. And that's, that's awesome. I could, I could have that in my front yard. Most of biology, certainly cellular biology and physiology, is about small things. And I get questions like these all the time. And basically, people are trying to have a sense of comparison. You know, so if I say something is 100 microns across, well, you know, you want to compare that to something else that you know that's 100 microns across. And that's really hard to do. Um, you know, we go down to about the width of a human hair. If you look under a microscope, you see a lot of detail there. Uh, sand grains people are kind of comfortable with. I collect sand from all the places that I've traveled in the world. Um, that's really fun, by the way. Sand is amazing when you look at it under the microscope. But, you know, that that's about it. Um, so this video is really going to explore things smaller than that. We're going to go from the millimeter level down to the picometer level. And these images that I'm going to show you were created by the Genetic Science Learning Center at the University of Utah. Um, what we're going to do is basically go from objects that you're familiar with, coffee bean, a uh, grain of salt, and we're going to go down all the way to a carbon atom in the span of about a minute. So pay attention to the top left corner. That'll give you a sense of scale, a relative scale, so you know where we are. And uh, I hope this is interesting and helpful. So here we go. Pretty cool. Uh, credits for the images as well as the music, and here's the fine print from the University of Utah. One other thing that I recommend, if you just type in powers of 10 into the YouTube search bar, you're going to get a couple of videos, and they will really help you not only in uh, numbers that are very, very small, but also numbers that are very big. The original Powers of 10 was made in 1977 for IBM, and it's old and dated, but it's really cool. It was remade a few years ago and renamed Cosmic Voyage and narrated by Morgan Freeman. Um, both are really cool and worth your time if you are struggling with exponents, orders of magnitude, what it all means, and kind of having a place in your brain to, to put some of these very big and very small numbers. As always, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for visiting the Penguin Prof channel. Please support by clicking like, share, and subscribe. Visit on Facebook, follow on Twitter. Good luck.